Hey guys, how's it going? It's me again. Oh, I really need that today. Don't ask me why. Mm. Guys, don't drink. Don't do what I do. It's bad for you. But just one more, yeah? Cheers. Oh, it's wet, it's good. <laughs> right, back to business. So after last video I posted, well not last video, last pinstriping video I posted some uh, last week doing different scrolls. I actually got uh, lots of messages from you and a few questions. What brushes do I use on these videos? Because I use two different designs and I use two different brushes. Um, so I just thought I'd make a quick video and i show you uh, what is the new brush I'm using. Because the other one you already have seen in my pinstriping series, if you go back a few, uh, few months back. Uh, I'm explaining the brush I'm using, but I've got a new one that I've been enjoying for a few months now um, So I'll show you what this bad boy is all about Right now you're nice and clean you can see me clearly I got this little guy here uh, Its name is Slinger scroll As the name suggests it's a scrolling brush and as you can see this little guy it's rather small thin and it's got a really nice snap to it. It's not too snappy, but it's got a good spring to it. And uh, yeah, let me explain you how I use this guy and uh, what's his origin. Because there's a pretty good story behind this brush as well. Right, so uh, while I'm preparing this brush to uh, swing some paint, paint with it, and to show you guys what this little bad boy can do. Let me just say a couple of words uh, about this brush, the origin of it maybe. First of all, uh, the brush is made by um, David Jackson, which is the brushman. I did uh, mention him in a few of my videos in the past. Uh, when you live in the UK, um, I mean, I don't know anybody else who does better brushes than he does by hand. And he's very... Um, He's very good at what he does. Maybe put it this, put me this, put it this way. It's uh, I don't know anybody who does better brushes by hand than David Jackson in the UK. Obviously, they are Mac company and they are something else, you know, in America and and all that. But David Jackson, if you're in the UK, is the man to go for brushes. <coughs> so this this brush is, uh, is is produced by David Jackson. However. It is produced to specifications, or maybe a, a design, I'm not sure how to call it, to a good friend of mine, Bruce Wood, and his nickname is The Slinger, right? That's why the brush is called Slinger Scroll. Now, Bruce Wood, <coughs> it's a, you probably heard this name if you've a word of pinstriping, because Bruce Wood is a legend, uh, he's a living legend, like one of those guys in America. He is, uh, well, in my humble opinion, he is the best scroller, uh, in the UK, if not in Europe. Obviously, America is a completely another world when it comes to pinstriping. Pinstriping scene is absolutely huge in America, so I cannot uh, say he's the best in the world, although not far from that. Uh, but he's, uh, he is absolutely amazing at what he does. If you haven't seen any of his work, you need to check him out um, on probably Facebook on some other uh, sites you can find him. Probably Facebook is the best place to uh, get in touch with Bruce. And I've met Bruce uh, three years ago, just over three years ago, on one of the uh, custom shows uh, up in Lincolnshire, Custom Culture Blast Off. I think that was 2014. I think it was 2014, something like this. Well, we become good friends with Bruce, and he gave me lots of good tips, you know, when it comes to uh, pinstriping and especially scrolling. Uh, I mean, the guy's got years and years and years of experience. Uh, he probably has been pinstriping when I wasn't even born, <laughs> or not far from that anyway. So uh, he's got really good experience, and uh, his work is second to none. And he developed that brush together with David Jackson. <clears throat> so, um, uh, yeah, let me take it for a spin and see if uh, we can do a justice to this little guy. Uh, before we load this little guy with uh, with paint, uh, I just want to mention quickly that you know uh, I'm not trying to advertise for anybody. Uh, I paid for this brush myself, um, and I'm only showing you this because uh, this is a really good little brush, and I'm uh, I believe in the quality of that brush. So I wouldn't be uh, uh, trying to tell you this brush is good if it wasn't 
fair play, I only have it for about, uh, I don't know, five or six months. Um, so I'm still kind of learning how to use it properly. Um, but I believe this brush is good. And if, you, uh, if you're if you interested into pinstriping and scrolling, especially scrolling, uh, this brush uh, will perform very well. Again, you may disagree. I mean, I'm using different brush as well. Um, but this brush got a different place and different purpose. Um, and I will try to explain you uh, how I use it and uh, where and how and when I go to use this brush as opposed to the other one I've been using before. So here we go, loading the brush. Uh, I use yellow paint today because I got black background. I figured that's going to be uh, quite easy for you to guys see what I'm doing. And again, as I said it so many times before, consistency of paint is the key to any kind of pinstriping, I think. Um, not just scrolling, but you know, straight lines as well. But scrolling requires the paint to be um, a little bit more runny, I think, than uh, than your regular style, because you need to travel a further distance. But again, it's a personal choice. Um, paint consistency is a very, very important factor. Right, so let's see this little guy in action. You know, as you can see, I said it before, it's a very snappy brush. You know, it's uh, it's got good amount of. Uh, flexibility to it quite long uh, let's see how it performs on the uh, on the black panel yeah this is just painted metal let's just do a simple scroll design over here right so as I said before this little guy is very snappy which is good if that's what you're going for right and the other thing I really like about this guy is capable of very fine lines. Just like that. Properly loaded with paint, we can do some really thick teardrops to it. But then we can go down to really fine lines as well. All with the same brush. Fully loaded with paint. We can produce really nice teardrop over here. But then as you can see we can go really really tiny. Which is a great uh, great thing for a for a brush as you would expect. Let's do a couple more swilly marks over here and see how much uh, paint will this guy hold before I run out. Doing well so far. That's all with a single load of a brush. And again, I'm not focusing here on design, focusing more of a how much paint we can load up with a single load. Well, we're still going, <laughs> which is a good thing. And again, I'm not doing different colors just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to use just yellow. But as you can see, so far so good, you know. That's a single load of, a, of paint and we keep going. Let's do a couple more. And the paint is still there, still on it. This whole thing... Okay, it's not a huge design, but it's pretty impressive that I don't need to reload the brush. If I was doing a, a job in a customer's uh, motorcycle or, uh, or somewhere else, I would definitely reload it by now. Probably a couple of times. But you know what? I don't need to. It's still going. It's still going strong. Yeah, still same load of a brush, and it's uh, as you can see, guys. This is uh, I still got some paint left here. It's actually wet with my finger as well, so that's a good thing. Still the same same load. Let's do a one more design. See if we can run out of paint. 
and there were some really fine lines. And I could do it quite quickly as well, which means I don't need to uh, slow down and stop and think about, you know, that I'm running out of paint. It's no shadowing and and I've still got plenty of paint on this on this bad boy. Wow, that's pretty impressive. <coughs> so we keep going, guys. What do you know? Are we going to run out of paint today or not really? Only just now we're becoming slightly, slightly um, see through. But then again, it's very capable of holding a large amount of paint. And that's a really good feature for a small brush like this. I mean, it's very, very fine. You can see how much paint I still got on it. I can probably produce another design like this if I slow down a little bit without reloading it. Um, that is a good feature of a brush. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of that and do another quick uh, quick scroll over here. Yeah, one of the reasons I like this brush, it's um, it's capable of very very thin lines and it's very tight around the corners, so we can produce really. Uh, let me come over here so you can see what I'm doing. So you can produce really a uh, fine design in a small you know space and it still looks like it's not too busy because the lines can be kept really thin which is a great uh, uh, feature of a of a scrolling brush we can go really small really thin lines and because it's very snappy you can turn corners really easy and I can go back here and just in the same kind of space produce another quite busy you know scroll design but because I can turn the corners really quickly without really reloading it gives like an extra edge to your design I don't think I'll be able to do that with the other brush because it's a well it's a larger brush and it's lacking that snappiness of it that it can turn on a spot. I guess in the right hands you can turn you can make the other you know the other brush um, perform magic as well. But this is um, I'm happy with that this is good. Especially like the very fine and thin you know uh, edges when I'm producing these teardrops I can just let it spring on its own. Let me zoom up on this thing so you can have a look better. Wow, we're over here. So, press it down and when I go away I can kind of let it let it do its thing without too much effort. Can you see this little very fine piece in the end? It kind of, because of the springiness of the brush itself I kind of let it go and it just does it. It does it for me really which is a great feature. Can you see that? So kind of brush is working for me if you uh, if you know how to use it properly. Let's just do one more quick one over here. Quick simple uh, design, just uh, typically scrolling design. Uh, so again, very quickly, guys. It's a, uh, it's not a review because Bruce sent this brush to um, the top names in America, and I mean like the guys in America that actually made pinstriping happen or took it to the next level. Amazing, amazing artists. I don't even remember how many uh, good names there were there, but there are deep guys that it comes to pinstriping. They developed it, took it to the next level, 
and all of them really like that brush. I know that for a fact because I've seen the reviews and I've seen the videos and uh, Bruce himself told me that as well. So I'm not doing the review because I'm not worthy doing the review of this brush. Uh, I just uh, want to show you guys what I use as my newest addition to my uh, never fucking ending collection of, uh, of uh, brushes in my box. Mm, but yeah, I'm definitely coming back to this guy quite often now. Um, uh, to my brush number one, my scrolling brush, was the, as you know, Wizard Vortex developed by um, Steve Shizeka. Uh, in America, and that is a fantastic brush, don't get me wrong. But if I have to compare them to brushes, the uh, Vortex is kind of like a shotgun of a brush. Uh, it's capable of holding the insane amount of paint, and I can throw a design on a big massive Harley petrol tank, or in the car, or whatever, um, and I can pinstrap with all day long. Uh, where the Slinger scroll brush is probably more like a sniper rifle. Uh, you get a shotgun, double barrel shotgun and a sniper rifle um, slinger scroll is uh, capable of very very fine lines very fine details and as you've seen it holds a great amount of paint as well it doesn't run out very any quickly and because of the snappiness it kind of works for you uh, if you start with the uh, with the um, vortex uh, it will take you some time getting used to that because the vortex is not as snappy as the um, slinger scroll um, but once you get used to it, the brush will work for you. All this snappiness in it, you just remove it a little bit from the surface of the uh, when you're painting, and it will snap back, and it will just produce this beautiful line. Uh, but again, you need to practice with it. Uh, watching me doing this will not make you any better. <laughs> so you need to get it, get in there, and actually get dirty and practice with this little guy. Uh, if you want a brush like this, I guess the best place to contact will be Bruce himself. I'll throw an email address on the bottom of this video, on the, uh, on the comments, not in the comments, but in the description. Uh, so I guess you can get in touch with Bruce directly and he can sell you this price. At, I can't remember how much it is, uh, but get in touch with him and he, uh, he will sort you out with one. What I did over here, it's, it's nothing comparing to Bruce. Bruce's work is absolutely amazing pinstriper. Um, he does some amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, so do check him out as well. Uh, he's been a good friend of mine for over three years and I'm very grateful for the advice and tips he gave me uh, and hopefully I will see him uh, again on the uh, KKBO 2018. <laughs> right guys, uh, once again, sling a scroll from Bruce Wood. Bruce, I hope you're watching. Uh, trust to keep you well, buddy. Um, next festival we're gonna drink some rum together <laughs> again um, yeah guys get in touch with Bruce if you want one of those brushes really good do I recommend it you need to try it for yourself I like it that's what I can say about it anyway guys thank you very much for watching have a beer or cider I will do <laughs> rock hard and I'll see you next time rock and roll